now we understand getting a material into Unreal and getting a MetaHuman into Unreal. Why don't we combine the MetaHuman with the Quixel materials? Um, so I'll show you that step now. I'm gonna be using a pipeline through Blender. So you can do this with other 3D modelers, but Blender's a nice free 3D modeling software. Um, so when you're in Blender, it opens it up like this. Press A to select everything, press delete. Um, back in Unreal. You want to navigate from here to MetaHumans, your MetaHuman face, face mesh. Right click on that, asset actions, export. So we're exporting just the face. Save that as whatever, in whatever directory you like. Somewhere outside of the Unreal project, I reckon. Um, at the end of the day, we're just making a flat texture. That's the only thing we want, is this flat texture that's going to wrap perfectly back to the face. So. I've just done it like this, might not be necessary, something like that. So yeah, in Blender, you delete everything, you go File, Import, FBX, so import what you've just exported, go find it. Um, just as a quick cut in, if you've never used Blender before, you probably need a mouse to use this, it's harder to do on a laptop. So just quick navigation bits, um, middle mouse button is to rotate your view. And then shift and middle mouse button is to sort of pan. You can hold control and middle mouse button to snap to solid axes, you know, up, down, left, or right. And control and middle mouse button is also zoom. So quick navigation there. You should know how to find your way around now. Sweet. So this should look something like this when you import it. It's just got all the face bones. That's why it's got this whole madness going on around it. But on the right here, pull this drop down, navigate down to this face mesh. Go into material properties down here, make a new material. Go up here to the shading tab. Now we want to check that the image texture is wrapping all right. So go to one of your face map textures, right click, do the same thing, asset actions, export. Save that in the same place or whatever. Now in this material, find your file, drag it in, hook up the color to the base color. And now, just as a check, you can see that all the hair, all the freckles and stuff, that's all lining up perfectly. So we know the face message mesh is good to go and it's reading it nicely. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, ah. <laughs> okay, apart from that, I just remembered a problem I had before. The eyelashes are gonna get in the way of everything, so. We just want to delete them really. So go to layout. So you want to go in object mode, click on the face mesh. Maybe click down here so you're not selecting the bones as well. Just that. Edit. Just select the skin. Then go control I to select inverse. Go delete vertices. Okay, back in here. We just want to check that the Textures are still good. Object mode, look in one of these lighting settings. Viewport shading. Yeah, we still got everything everywhere, everywhere. That's fine. So I'm going to export this again. FBX, place that. Back in here. Uh, in setup, custom model. There he is. Reload him. Okay, so this gold layer we're going to delete. So, okay, that should be. So you can see it's still the same. We just haven't got the eyelashes. So now adding. A new layer should go a bit smoother. Got the gold. If I want to paint. There you go. Now if you want to paint bits off, you can. So hopefully that um, explains a bit of this sneaky pipeline for getting into a metahuman head and editing it up. Yeah, next up we're going to look a little bit more at Mixer, making some crazy materials and then getting them into Unreal. And soon enough we'll get into some animation. So catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.